Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont, founder of Easy Genie, and today I'm gonna to show you a really neat trick for genealogists to take an old typed document and convert it into text that you can edit online. This is using Google Drive and Google Docs, and here's how to do it. So let's take a look at the old document I'm talking about. So this is something uh, from the 1970s or maybe the 1980s. You can see it's really old. It was actually typed out on a typewriter. There's cross outs and everything. And what I wanna do is I wanna take this text and get it, in, get it online so I can either paste it into another software program I have for genealogy or maybe I can upload it to uh, Ancestry or Family Search or something like that. Now this document is not uh, specifically a genealogy document, but you get the idea. It's like somebody went through the trouble of making a list with bullet points and all these different things. And I'm gonna get this into an edit, an online state so I can do stuff with the text without having to type it out all over again. So here's what you need to do. Open up Google Drive. Google Drive is a free online software program. Go to drive.google.com. You may already have an account. If you don't, go through the steps to uh, register an account. And by the way, this can be on a Mac or a Windows machine or a Google Chromebook. I usually recommend using the Google Chrome browser if you're using Google Drive and Google Docs, but you can also use Firefox and other types of browsers. So this is uh, Firefox on a Mac, but on Windows, it would work exactly the same way. So first, find your document that you've put on your desktop computer someplace. And, and uh, also, I shall mention that I've tried to do this on a mobile phone and it doesn't work. So uh, you have to actually get the photo on your desktop computer. There's a whole bunch of ways to do that. I won't get into it here, but here it is right here. It's called Test Doc 1000 px I'm just gonna drag that right over here to Google Drive. And you can see it says uploading one item, starting upload, and it will take a couple seconds to do that. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning, uh, Google says that the document, the, the photo, has to be less than two megabytes in size, and that's actually pretty small. I found that with my phone, it's an iPhone, if I take a picture of, of anything, usually it's at least three megabytes in size. So for this particular photo, I had to resize it into uh, one to something that's less than two megabytes. It seems, seems like it's taking a long time, so let me just try to do that again. And just drag it right over. It's thinking about it. And actually, let's see if I can maybe get the other one to do it. So I have a I have a full size version of it as well. So let's see if that works. Okay. It took a little bit of time, but it got there. And uh, I'm gonna use, actually I uploaded it twice. So let's get rid of the old, these two. I don't need two of them. Remove that. And here's the, here's the uh, document so that you can see it's the same one. Now what you have to do is right click over the, the photo in your Google Drive, select open with Google Docs. If you don't see Google Docs there, that means that the photo is probably too big. It's, it's bigger than two megabytes in size. And what you need to do, you need to resize the photo so it's less than two megabytes in size. That's beyond the scope of this video, but just get the, get the photo so it's uh, smaller than two megabytes in size. Then select open with, so you, I'll show you again. Right click over it, open with Google Docs. So we'll think about it for a little bit. And here it is. Now you may, may be thinking, well, this just looks like you just opened up the photo itself in Google Docs. But actually, if you scroll down, you'll see there's text. The text looks a little funny, I have to say. I found that for older documents uh, where the, or the text is maybe not as clear, some things don't look quite right. And to give you an example, let's actually, let's open up the photo itself. We can do side by side here. So it says fine motor and visual motor skills. And you can see in the first line, it says fine motor T and vis visual with an F motor skills. So you have to do a little cleanup right there. Fine motor skills and, uh, and visual. So, what I've, what I've found often is I have to go through and do a little bit of editing here. But the great thing is, is that the text is mostly there other than cleaning it up. And some of the text is in perfect shape. Other than cleaning it up and doing some reformatting, it looks pretty good. 
And what I can do is then I can, uh, I can either print it out again in a cleaner version. I can copy and paste the text into other software programs. I can upload it to, uh, you know, Family Search or Ancestry or something like that. But what I've done actually is taken the text, converted a photo like this into text on Google Docs, and then I've pasted it into my genealogy software program. So it's really a very useful thing to do. Also, you can delete the photo that's in the Google Doc. It will be fine. I do suggest changing the name. So I'm gonna call this Fine Motor Skills uh, 1978. I don't know if that was when it was typed, but it looks like it could have been. And then you'll have a record of it. And it will be in Google Docs if you need to look, look for it again. For more information on how to get the most out of genealogy, I'm the founder of Easy Genie. We make all kinds of high quality, unique genealogy charts, forms, and genealogy accessories. They're intended to last for a long time, uh, scores of years or even hundreds of years because we use acid-free paper. Go to easygenie.org to find out more information. If this video helped you, if you could like it and follow me on YouTube, I'd be very grateful. This is Ian Lamont signing off.